Just once, I wanted to see Judge Dredd come out like this. Ready? Howdy everyone, it is Chin Beard, and I am here with the third and final installment of the Judge Dredd Helmet Kit Build. Once again, this kit is from Two Story Props, and you can find them on Facebook. I'll put a link right below so you can ask them all about this wonderful kit. When we last left off a while ago, this was just a primed piece of plastic. Uh, but now you can clearly see it is totally done, and I'll tell you exactly what I did. The very first thing I did once it was all primed was to spray paint it the black color. I covered the whole thing in black and then I let it dry like a while. I wanted to make sure that it was nice and dry before I did anything else to it. Then I took and masked off all of the areas that need to be red. So I just took this normal painter's tape and uh, laid it down on all of the edges here. And then I would just go in with a knife and trim up the pieces that uh, I didn't want to get painted. With it all masked off, I sprayed the whole thing this lovely red color. Once again, I let it dry. It is way important to let each layer dry while you're working on this kind of project. After it was dried, I could peel off all of that masking tape that I put down and see all of my wonderful hard work. The last bit of color that I put on this guy here is the gold on the badge right on the forehead. I opted to go with just a rub and buff and brush it on. That way I didn't have to do any masking or spraying and it dries super fast. With all of the color laid down, I gave this thing a couple of good layers of clear coat to make sure that all of my colors were nice and sealed in. Now Judge Dredd lives in a super dirty world, so I wanted to make sure that this helmet looked really, really dirty. I went over the whole thing with some acrylic paints, a nice brown color and a black color, and I mixed it up a whole bunch. And then I would wipe it down with a piece of paper towel and lift a lot of that paint right off, but leaving a bunch in all the crevices and, you know, not doing a great job of cleaning it up because I wanted this to look really dirty. So I went over the whole thing with a couple of passes with the acrylic paints like that to make it super dirty. And then I did the sort of opposite thing. I took some silver rub and buff and went over a lot of the highlights, a lot of the edges that you would think might get banged up through you know, the kind of heavy work and hard use that a judge might put his helmet through. With that, all of the color on this thing was nice and done. And again, I wanted to make sure that was locked in. So I went over it again with some more clear coat and the painting was finished. The last thing I had to do was to put a visor in this thing. To make it look super good, I went and ordered a visor from a motorcycle website. This was something like 12 bucks and it is perfect. Now, this was going to be permanently affixed in there, so it didn't need the, the rotating bits on the side of the helmet. So I cut those off with a Dremel and cleaned them up on my belt sander. Then I took the visor and I tried it out to make sure that it would fit right. I actually put it in upside down because the top edge of the visor was flat, and that's what I need for this helmet. Once I was sure that the visor was going to fit nice and in place, I hot glued it in place. That's right, hot glue. Every crafter's favorite adhesive. The last thing I did was to hot glue a bunch of squishy foam into the helmet. That way this thing would fit perfectly on my head and feel nice and comfortable. Everyone knows that comfort is a judge's first priority. And that's that. The helmet is all done and I'm really, really stoked to have this thing. Uh, maybe I'll wear it on Halloween to scare all the trick-or-treaters. Anyway, the, this kit has been a dream to work with. I love it. I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Again, you can go to Two Story Props and ask them about getting a kit of your own. And I hope to see some of you guys making your own Judge Dread helmet. Let me know. You can contact me on Twitter at twitter.com slash chinbeard. Or you can go to Facebook at facebook.com slash punishprops.